Hi Aries, welcome and so welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Tarot Grand Lux and the Spirit Messages Oracle Cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you in. It is free to subscribe. Also, at the end of this message, like, comment, share, turn on your post notification, check out the community tab, as well as the shorts. And if you're a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a message. You can just simply leave a heart emoji or a bunch of heart emojis to let me know that the message did touch your heart in some way. God bless my... Whoa. Okay, we're going to take all these. Are there any other messages? For Aries, that's for their well-being and the highest form of love and light. Okay, thank you. One moment, Aries, as I get your cards off the floor. Okay. Aries. All right. In, in your situation, in your current situation, you need to stand your ground and speak up for yourself and defend your perspective, however that looks to you. Also, don't overthink the situation. Look at the facts, right? Don't overanalyze. Look at the facts, and as you do look at the facts, Stay true to what is really happening rather than allowing yourself to get caught up in what you perceive to be happening. Look at the facts, the truth facts of the situation. So clearly there is a dispute between yourself and some others. I feel like whatever started this dispute this argument wasn't major but someone decided to over exaggerate and made it more than what it was but with the five of wands here i feel like it speaks to change it's time to change your connections try it's time to change your perception it's time to change how you want to maintain your relationships like look at how you can create healthy boundaries that would be most beneficial for yourself and others because ultimately making those decisions to create healthy boundaries is going to result in you being more joyful having a more fulfilled experience in your your connection with maybe new friends or new associates but it's definitely time to make a change when it comes to the connections you have because currently the connections that you are experiencing is draining it's draining it's exhausting it's wearing you out and it's causing you to be sad you can change all that you have two fives showing up for you, right? So you can make the change that's needed for your well-being. It's time to move forward. It's time to take your plan and execute a plan for more stable connections, more healthier connections with others. In order for you to get that, of course, you have to explore. You have to go out, socialize. There's people, yes, that you can meet on social media that will have like a kindred spirit. But you won't know until you free yourself from the relationships that are causing you heartache, that's causing you pain, that's really keeping you down. It could be family members, co-workers that you thought were friends, your social group, whomever. It's time to make a change. It's time for you to move forward. 
with the change. And I feel like you already know that you need this change. But you've been hesitant to make the change. But I feel like once you decide that you're going to put in the effort to do what's for your well-being, you're going to find that it was worth it all. And you have the moon card. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by anyone. Don't let anyone deceive you. All right? Stay alert. Everything isn't what it appears to be. Stay alert. As it relates to your spirit message oracle card, that's for your well-being, Aries. On the top of the deck, you have stay connected. And the message is, we are all born connected to spirit or however you honor the higher power often known as the divine source yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world now is an important time to reconnect to the source so if you've found yourself straying away from your connection with God most higher however you honor the higher power you're being encouraged to start afresh do it now you don't have to wait on anything just start your connection or continue your connection with more dedication with more intentions but stay connected that's very important I want to see what the guidebook has to say about that. The more connected you are, the more grounded you will feel, the more at peace you will feel, the more insight you will receive as you go from day to day. You'll see a major difference, trust me. So one moment, let me locate that card. Thank you for your patience. All right, Aries, it says, this card signifies that you're possibly overreaching and striving too hard in the material world for things that will make you feel good or that you're looking for a specific answer. When you're constantly reaching outward to achieve and acquire more and more, it's easy to slip farther and farther away from the spark your life force and your soul may want may wander off its original track while we're all born connected to spirit or, or however you honor the higher power the divine source we have a tendency to pull away from what was once natural we have become disconnected from spirit the source that once nourish us will be replaced with another source or substitutes such as food, alcohol, nicotine, codependency, or someone, or even work. Hence the term workaholic. Many of us spend our lives trying to fill the void that was created when the link to the divine was broken. This card is your wake up call it's time to pull back from the stresses and strains of daily life and seek out the inner place of silence and calmness where you'll find peace. Meditation will help you connect to the source once again and provide you with the opportunity to step back and view your current life from the eyes of your soul. That's beautiful. So work towards re-establishing your, your connection, pardon me, with God Most High. On the bottom of the deck, you have stay ground, stand your ground, pardon me. Standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it and you know that by doing so, you will be 
the victor. So you'll have victory if you stand your ground. And one of your cards speaks to you standing your ground. And that's seven of wands. Stand your ground. And as it relates to you having victory, the chariot is about, but not limited to, being victorious. So stand your ground, speak your truth, honor your position, and trust that you're doing what's correct and for your well-being. So let's get more insight on standing your ground. This card is proof that no matter how much you're being tested, pushed, in, or pushed into doing something you genuinely know is not for your highest good, it's okay to stand your ground and push back. Don't waver, don't give in, don't lose sight of what's waiting for you. Remember, the outcome that you know is right for you may not be what others think is best for you, but that's their perception. Would you not agree? Of course. This card will provide the strength to believe in your own integrity, your own self-worth, to help you remain clear and focused, to defend what you believe and know to be right. With the conviction of that belief comes an ample supply of energy so that you can stand tall, you don't need to compromise or surrender and give up the control you hold dear. So don't give up your control. Don't allow someone else to um, force you to compromise. Stand in your truth. Stand your ground. Be honest with yourself and do what's for your well-being rather than doing what someone else wants. That's going to cause you sadness. That's going to cause you to feel regretful for not standing up for yourself. Now is the time to stand up for yourself, Aries. Let's see if there's anything else for you from the Spirit Messages Oracle card. That's for your well-being. Okay, thank you, God Most High. Thank you. Two more cards jumped out of the deck, so let's take them. Love. Love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. So I feel like as you give love, be open to receive love, and don't give so much that you're depleted. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't drain yourself because you're so loving towards others don't forget yourself don't leave yourself out self-love is important all right and you might find that listening to music will help you um, experience self-love it's a part of healing so perhaps listening to music will help you in that way Perhaps even being out in nature will also help you all as well with staying connected and experiencing love, self-love that is. So these two cards represent the need to be out in nature, to experience nature, to even Spend time in nature for meditation. So consider that. You also have serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. That's confirmation to what I was just saying. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out the pardon me, by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues 
and resentments interfere with your serenity today. Find your place of peace. Find the time to love on yourself, to care for yourself, to nurture yourself. There's nothing wrong with loving up on other people, but there is a time and place where it's important that you love up on yourself. And let's uh, get some more insight on this, okay? So you have loved ones in the spirit world reaching out to you and it says, we're reaching out to you at this important time in the hope that you're, you'll discover new and meaningful ways of nurturing and loving yourself. Love is energy and that beautiful face, force, pardon me, that beautiful force. And you probably have a beautiful fa face as well. That didn't come up for nothing. So if you are struggling with your self-image, know that you are beautiful. That's for some of that's for some of you. Let me know in the comment section if that resonated with you. Just leave me a smiley face emoji. That's all you need to do. All right. To experience and feel the power of love in it in one's lifetime can be one of the most beautiful significant and life-changing events that your soul can acknowledge and receive yet love is so much more than being able to say that you've loved another person love is not meant to be a fixed a fixed destination it's about the journey it's the process of becoming the person you were meant to be a person living and loving from the heart and soul you are love and you are worthy of love now is the perfect time to weed out people and situations that are not empowering you and surround yourself with those who can gently encourage you to be all that you can be start your journey by letting the energy of love enter into your heart and your life by doing so it will allow you to receive and give love and to radiate also the pure soul that you truly are amazing i love that <laughs> what are your thoughts i love it i love it for some of you i feel like that's right on time because that's what i'm hearing that's right on time and if that is you let me know in the comment section just leave me a smiley face emoji. I don't know. That's between you and I. Especially if you are a private person. So let's just keep it between you and I. All right. <laughs> and as it relates to your serenity card. Again, those in the spirit world are speaking to you. We here in the spirit world sent you this card to remind you not to feel overwhelmed at this time. Sometimes the answers are not readily available. So it's a matter of living one day at a time as this will assist you in letting go of the past and all the negativity associated with it. The past no longer serves your highest good and it can prevent you from achieving the serenity that you've been so desperately seeking. You've learned from the past mistakes and the lessons they've shown you. Letting go of what no longer serves you enables us to help you even more. We're aware of the fears and insecurities that you may be experiencing right now. When you take the time to let go of the when you take the time to let go of the despair those unwanted thoughts divine thoughts divine guidance can find its way to you from spirit or however you honor the higher power giving you peace of mind find comfort and courage in knowing that you're not alone we're connected to you forever Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Aries, this is your message. I sure hope it has been helpful to you. It's been an amazing message. And I hope it's encouraged you. I hope it's brought confirmation for you. I hope it has provided some guidance for you in some way, shape, or form. I hope that this message really 
touch your heart in some way. Let me know in the comments section by leaving me a heart emoji. And if some of the other things that were mentioned were confirmation for you, just leave me a smiley face emoji. Like I said, it's between us. All right. Thank you for being here. Take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. And may the clarity that you need find you. And may the strength that you need just envelop you. That you're able to make sound judgment, make sound decisions, stand your ground, and speak your truth. All right? Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Peace and blessings.